It's a 1932 two-door sedan. It was built by, roughed in as a roller by the Stewart family out of Grants Pass, Oregon, who originally had a speed shop down in San Diego. And they specialize in, in hot rods, but they, the, the big thing is, is they, they were the first guys to build what they call a drop axle. And the drop axle is a standard axle, and they, they bend the ends up up to get the stance of the car dropped down. Dropping the front end down, it, it made it look kind of cool too, I guess, to drop the stance to get it on an angle. And then also, at, at either the dry lakes or Bonneville, wherever you're at, it got the car closer to the ground. Dago axle, they call them Dago, D-A-G-O, because they're out of San Diego, California. A lot of people get confused in that, why it's a Dago axle. He roughed in the car with uh, the bodies he had in the shop. He had two sedans, three coupes, had frames and all his Dago axles. So he, he built it as a roller, a roller car. And then uh, he got sick and his son, Bob Jr., really worked on the car and, uh, and he, he kind of works in a, runs a hot rod shop in Grants Pass also. So he, he finished the car as a, as a roller. The actual plate on the front from that his rod shop, they built three, maybe four of those, those plates. So when he built the car until the car was done, I really wanted one of those plates. And he says, until the car's close to being done, well, you know, he kind of says, if, if Junior makes it worthy for my dad and my shop, then we'll go ahead and put, we'll give you the plate. So I was able to, uh, he shipped it with the plate on it, so I was happy with that. We just finished the car. It's just been completed, and we've got some neat shows to go to this summer, and, and I'm glad that we finished it with the 90th anniversary of the 32 Ford. So it was a perfect year to finish the car.